two and a half years ago, I decided to move out of the city and build myself a shipping container cabin. I drew it up on the computer first and then once I saw this site, it, it just came together really quickly. The cabin is made out of three standard 20-foot shipping containers. Uh, I've done some modifications to them. You can walk through all three containers. This is my washroom. Uh, I had a roughened toilet that I never used. I used the outhouse instead. Uh, this was my bedroom. Uh, living room, kitchen, and then I guess second living room. This is where I primarily spent all my time, um, either in front of the fire during the winter or um, most likely outside enjoying the sun in the, in the summertime. All of these doors are standard issue shipping container doors. They actually are sealed once they're locked um, and uh, I initially designed the cabin around containers on the premise that um, once the doors are sealed and locked you can walk away uh, for several weeks at a time if you go traveling you close up your house and you don't have to worry about it this is my utility room basically it was a um, a propane fired hot water tank that fed the infrared radiant heat system and also provided um, hot domestic water. There's 17.4 million containers in the world and three quarters of them are sitting empty so they're readily available and they're relatively inexpensive and also they provide a great deal of structural properties. The largest challenge was to insulate the cabin. I was hoping to stay here for four seasons. I came up with uh, insulating the interior walls with spray foam, and then the openings where the steel doors are are insulated with bats. I was able to uh, get an R value about R22 for all the walls, uh, which makes surviving the winter more, I guess, more enjoyable. Water sources were an issue. My neighbors were kind enough to let me fill up my water tote. So I would either drive my tractor over and pick up uh, the water or make arrangements and travel into the closest town and, and fill up my water. So I trucked all my water in. For the energy um, side, I designed a two kilowatt solar system. I used a, uh, an outhouse as my primary washroom. After watching many people before me make tiny houses, I, I really like the idea of downsizing and um, simplifying your life. Uh, by moving to a smaller space, it forced me to select what mattered in my life. I grew up around off-grid systems. My grandfather built his first hydro site when in the 40s to power his house and his business and my father did the same and um, I wanted to do something similar so I guess it's been in my family for three generations so it just felt natural. I enjoy simple well thought out things and uh, this incorporates a lot of my interests into just a smaller spot. I feel that being responsible and sustainable goes hand in hand with well designed systems. Um, my passion is design and um, being having a holistic lifestyle is also a passion of mine and they just they they marry very well. I just graduated from school so I am starting my own business in the solar renewable energy field um, trying to uh, I guess empower people to, to do similar things that I've been doing. I lived in the house for two and a half years, full time. The cabin is 355 square feet. Uh, most people would consider that small or tiny. To be honest, I didn't spend that much time inside the cabin. Uh, it's where I prepared and ate food and slept uh, and then read most evenings, but um, when I was home, I, I'd be outside uh, where uh, I preferred to be in nature. 
living here by myself for two and a half years was just just me and my dog. Some people might have thought it would have been boring, but uh, or quiet. I I was never bored. There was always something fun or interesting or new to discover or to learn. The time I spent here was uh, kind of like meditation. It was a time to reflect on on my life. So uh, I really enjoyed my time here.